It is Caroline and it is way in Monday. Sorry for my mess behind me. Um, been working on a lot of art. But today we are not talking about my art. We are talking about OMAD. That is one meal a day and that's what I do. I fast for 23 hours and I eat for one hour a day anything I want to eat or drink. And I have been doing this now for seven weeks. And today I'm weighing in to give you, new, to give you my seven week results. So let's just get right down to it before we talk about the week, okay? So I started the week weighing 218. And when I got on the scale this morning, I weighed 216.8. That is a 1.2 pound loss. So I am cool with that. I am pretty happy about that. Um, but let's look at the overall for seven weeks real quick so we can take a look at um, how much I have pro progressed in seven weeks. So um, I started out at 235.4. In week one, I lost six pounds. Week two, I lost 2.2 pounds. In week three, I lost 2.8 pounds. Week four, I lost 3.8 pounds. In week five, I lost two pounds. In week six, I lost 0.6 pounds. And this week, week seven, I lost 1.2 pounds. That gives me a grand total of 18.6 pound loss. So I'm pretty happy about that. Um, you know, it's going to be not quite another 30 days for me next Monday. It'll be exactly, you know, eight week mark. I'll probably do an eight week mark um, video and then I'll do my whole 60 day video. I kind of because I had I had committed to the first 30 days, so I kind of did a 30 day video, and so I kind of like that whole 30 day thing. So I'll still do my eight week video, but then I'll probably come on a couple of days later and do my 60 day result video, and um, or maybe I should split it up into 30 day and 30 day and show that comparison. But anyways, um, I'm pretty excited about that. I'm really hoping next week. I will at least have gotten to that 20 pound marker in, you know, eight weeks. That'll be so cool. So that's kind of my goal. So let's talk about this week. Um, I worked out a lot. I actually got five walk, run, 5Ks in this week. And I'm loving it. I've always loved working out. So like I have been really committed to it like this morning i woke up pretty early got my workout jumped in the pool went for a swim and i had that all done before it was even 9 a.m so that is what i'm loving right now and i feel like i've got plenty of energy so that's awesome because i'm actually working out during my fast hours so i'm working out when um i've still got quite a few hours to go before I eat. I usually eat like around between three and five hour window. I only eat for one hour, but sometimes my window shifts around to to whatever is convenient for me. Or there's just times where I'm just not hungry at like three or four o'clock. So I'll just kind of push it back to like five or six when I get hungry. But I do notice on the days that I work out, I really am hungry. I start getting hungry around two o'clock, like hangry. So I'm lucky if I make it to the three o'clock mark to eat. But yeah, so that's how it's going. So I did get my workouts. As far as emotions, I think they have, it's gotten better for me this week. So I don't know if it's the exercise kind of releasing those endorphins. I'm not sure what's going on, but I know more exercise equals not being me, not being so moody and emotional you know last week i was like crying over spilt milk literally so i'm pretty excited about not feeling so emotional although i feel like i still get irritated relatively quickly you know like when some people annoy me i can kind of kind of feel irritated quicker than I usually do. So I'm not sure what that is about. You know, I 
I see a lot of people talk about, oh, you're just a addicted to food and comfort food, you know, but it was funny because I talked to my son who does OMAD and he talks about how quickly he gets irritated too, you know, because I'm just trying to be honest. I am emotional and I am irritated and I just want to be honest with you about my journey that this may happen. I haven't seen many people talk about it, so maybe I'm unusual but I just wanted to put a video out there talking about my moodiness and my irritability, even in week seven. And just in case somebody is going through it and they're thinking about quitting, I, I wouldn't quit because I, to tell you the truth, being on a program that is benefiting your your health and and benefiting you know weight loss it's going to be hard so it's going to be hard whether you're doing one meal a day or you're doing any other kind of life change so don't give up you know at least at your eating window you get to enjoy and and eat whatever you want to eat and drink so you got to look at it that way. But I'm just trying to be honest here about my emotions and irritability. But my son was really, really, um, really sweet because I joined a Facebook, um, an intermittent fasting Facebook um, group just for a little support and stuff. And a lot of people are like, oh, you're addicted to food and you're just, you need comfort food and you need that. And it's not it, people. I am telling you, I am not craving anything. I am not, I am not like thinking about food. This is some kind of chemical thing. It has nothing to do with me. Oh, I need to munch on chips and that. I'm not even thinking about food. I am just a little irritable and moody. So I've got to think it's a chemical or hormonal imbalance that needs to get leveled out. That's what I feel it is. So I'm not sure I'm sticking with it, but I know that I really don't have cravings anymore. I'm really, if it wasn't for like, on the days I work out, me actually being hungry, I actually have hunger pains and I'm hungry to eat. On the days that I don't work out and I'm not feeling hungry and I go ahead and push my window back, those days I still get irritated and I still get sometimes moody last week. This week is more of ir irritability. So I'm just trying to be honest with you on what I'm going through. So um, I just think that I need to get leveled out. I'm sure it takes the body a while to say, okay, this is, this is the new norm and this is a way of life. And maybe my adrenalines and stuff like that are kicking in when they, when they shouldn't be. So Anyways, I'm just glad I'm not moody. I can take irritability fine. I just hate being cry and feeling sad for no reason. Um, other than that, it was really a good week. Like, I I managed. Um, I mean, my husband and I Saturday we took we we went on a date. I pushed my window back. I had a meal. I had two margaritas. I have to admit, though, having those two margaritas, I kind of felt guilty. I don't know. I think that, you know, I was worried that the alcohol was going to do something horrible and I was going to gain weight or I was going to bloat, but that didn't happen. So I'm pretty stoked about that. But um, that's it. That is week seven. Um, as far as my eating, I just pretty much ate whatever I want. I had steak and veggies. I made some meatballs. I had um, grilled chicken. Uh, didn't really have a whole lot of, oh, I did have mac and cheese the one day with my daughter. But as far as pastas and potatoes and some, some like, um, you know, that carb filled food, I didn't really have a whole lot of that bad carb stuff if there is such a thing but i did ha get my carbs a lot out of veggies so um week seven's down pretty happy about that 18.6 pounds down 
in week seven. So gotta be happy about that. So that's it for me. 